Good morning, Anja. Good morning, Lisa. Really lovely to have you here. Yep. Um, this is Anja Vinto, flow expert from Denmark. But why don't you tell a little bit about yourself first? Yeah. Actually, I, I went to see some of the other videos and, and I was kind of thinking about the one question. There were, there were one question that, that caught me and that was when you asked a question like, what makes you get up in the morning? Yeah. Uh, and, and, uh, and for some reason, I, the, my first thing is life makes me get up in the morning. Um, and that is because life is kind of um, a scary, uh, exhilarating, frightening, sad, marvelous movie. Um, and, and, and I just want so badly to be a part of that movie, uh, with everything I got, um, for better and worse. Um, so, so I've been kind of a scared little mouse, uh, for a lot of years, um, in my youth and it didn't show on the outside, but, but on the inside I was. So I was kind of always in control and always being this, I got it. I got it. Um, but on the inside, I was just frightened, actually. And um, when I when I when I found out that that has actually been been a great um, driver in my life, just being afraid. Um, I found out that life was supposed to be different. I found out that life is supposed to be huge i had this deep truth inside of myself that is that life is supposed to be huge and deep and i just felt that my life got smaller and smaller so about 17 years ago i left my uh, leadership job in the it business um i didn't know what to do i just knew that i wasn't supposed to be there so I, uh, I annulled everything in my life at an age at 28, 29. I stopped my career. I stopped my relationship. Um, and I was like a blank page. And then I thought, come on, Flo, let me, let me have flow. Just let me lead this easy peasy life. Um, and it didn't happen. <laughs> didn't happen uh, and that was when I began to study fear uh, fear and courage in everyday life what is that what do we need as human beings in this time uh, space reality in order to lead lives that, that we actually feel that feels uh, good and genuine to us uh, so today I, I teach, um, I have an education here in Denmark and I teach, uh, I educate flow specialists. Um, I teach leaders and teachers and entrepreneurs uh, how, to, how to deliberately go through their m most hidden fears in order to make life bigger um, and more fulfilling. That's that was very That's short. <laughs> That's you captured already all my questions. <laughs> all right. Thank you very much. No, no, no. We're, we're going to chat a little bit more. Uh, yeah. So maybe more specifically. So you help people to um, live a bigger life. That very much resonates with the uh, driven woman. We always talk about bigger life, and it was beautiful how you described that life was getting smaller and smaller, and it's supposed to be getting bigger and bigger. Yeah. So what? does a bigger life, um, what does it include in your, on a personal level? How, how do you describe your bigger life? Um, a bigger life for me has to do with integrity, actually. Um, and that, that, that is the same as success for me. Yeah. When, I, when I lead my life with integrity, I feel that it expands. It gets bigger and bigger. Um, living in integrity is not easy. It's not easy always um actually it takes some kind of a some kind of courage some kind of nerve sometimes but but when i do that i i always um have this experience of my life expanding and that is because integrity is also has the same it's a frequency of courage so when we do things we know is frightening 
and we know that we rather just don't do and then when we when we do it anyway um we kind of uh take on ourselves if you can say that um and when we do that life get bigger um so for me bigger equals integrity um and that is in that is different for every individual i mean exactly. Being in integrity for you can be one thing and another thing for me, but we feel the difference. We feel life expanding. Yeah, <clears throat> exactly. I, I really love that. Um, what would be your top tip for uh, somebody who would like to live a bigger life according to their own terms, but they're not quite sure, you know, how to get started on that path, how to get over that fear? <clears throat> My first... Um my my first advice would all, always be to to just begin to to acknowledge that you're afraid of something just the acknowledgement that fear is driving all of us um and it has to sometimes but but when you start to fall in love with your fear you start to see life from a different perspective because a lot of people flee from their fear and they can live a whole life on the run yes and we stop that running and start uh, facing ourselves actually starting acknowledging that what I need and what I care for and what I know and what I love and what I want to um, is very important but it's important because it's also frightening to do it yes <laughs> and, and we acknowledge that then um, yeah then 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 life begins to move. So one thing that I will be sharing with all of you when I when I come to London is you need to know your <clears throat> excuse me, you need to know your fear profile. We all have a fear profile. And when we start to to get to know that profile and what it can do to us just knowing it and um, and then how to transcend it, how to act uh, in spite of it, with it, together with it then life begins to unfold. Um, and we will be doing it um, very concrete. So, so no one will be leaving the, 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 the venue or, or uh, the festival of doers without knowing exactly what has been holding them back and how they can transcend it. Um, then there's the practical thing in, in, in working with your fear. And that, that is, um, that is, you need two things in order to do that. You need to know the human um, biology, actually. One thing is that we have always had to, to master a discipline of survival. Two, we have always um, had to master the discipline of taking care of our own needs, always. Three, we've always <clears throat> had to excuse me, <clears throat> we've always had to, um, to, to cooperate, to reach out, to help each other. And we've always uh, had to adjust. So there are some core disciplines in being a human being yes. that just know, we need to know how to act with that in this time space. Um, so, and the other thing is, yeah, fall in love with your fear. I that I is my That's that brilliant. is my mission when I come over to you that I will I will see hearts in your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> know that you will be uh, running with your fear instead of away from it. That is the first step to uh, to create deliberately flow in in your life or your business and a bigger life. Thank you very and much, Anja. It's been really a pleasure learning about fear and uh, come to Festival of Doers, meet Anya. So Anya will be there running her beautiful workshop and uh, we will learn more, more about fear and how we can fall in love with it. That's super yes. exciting. Thank yeah. you so much. You're welcome. Bye.